Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is 1998's Beast Wars Quick Strike. Now, Quick Strike here was part of the Beast Wars subline Fusors, which was a Beast Wars figure that was a combination of two different animals. In Quick Strike's case, it was a cobra and a scorpion. Now I had a quick strike back in the day when he was first released. Absolutely loved the figure, but alas, he along with the rest of my Beast Wars collection was sold off in 2013 when I decided to focus solely on G1. I recently picked this guy up off of Mercari and I am so happy to have a quick strike back in my collection. I forgot how cool this guy was. Now, Quick Strike was a super popular character in the Beast Wars television show. He showed up early on in Season 2 and lasted all the way to the end. His personality was that of a hyper-violent cowboy with a thick Western accent. He was like the Beast Wars version of Yosemite Sam. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at this nasty Predacon who would just love to kick your keister. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Quick Strikes Beast Mode is my all-time favorite beast mode out of the entire Transformers franchise. I mean, he looks awesome. It's a scorpion with a cobra for a tail. This looks like something straight out of a Ray Harryhausen film. I just aged myself right there. But this figure is absolutely gorgeous. The one flaw with him that I totally forgot he had is he is 90% translucent plastic. Why they went that route, I'll never know unless, you know, like a real scorpion is kind of see-through. Maybe they did it for that reason. I don't know, but it's really scary now transforming this guy. But on him, it just looks amazing. You got that gold translucent plastic with the teal paint. You got the red eyes right there, the orange legs, the brown up here, the details on the Cobra hood. The Cobra also has red eyes. You can see the fangs right there. This is a beautiful figure. It's just one of those ones I never really appreciated back in the day, but right now, looking at this guy again, after not holding one for so long, he just looks awesome. I am so happy to have him back in my collection. Now, articulation for Quick Strike, it's off the chain with this guy. One, his head can look up and down. That's mainly due to transformation, but I still consider that part of his articulation. For his arms, they're on a ball joint, so they can move up and down all around. There also is a ball joint there at the elbow and his claws can pinch. And look at the details on these. Love the paint applications. He's got the little ridges right there. <laughs> it just looks awesome. Then you got the legs right here. Now these are not jointed at all other than a hinge there at the bottom, which you can kind of use to prop him up a little bit, but one of his faults is he doesn't have much of a base to lay on, so he kind of flops back, but it's nothing I can't live with. 
Back here on the tail, every segment has a ball joint. This tail can go all over the place. It's really, really cool. And then you have articulation up here with the cobra mouth, like the molded in fangs right there. And he also has an action feature. There is a bladder right here underneath the snake that you can fill that up with water and use that as his attack weapon. Quick Strike's water squirting gimmick is pretty simple. You just depress the bladder, stick the cobra head in some water and release, sucking the water up in the bladder and then you just squeeze it to attack some Maximals. Pretty cool. So now let's get Quick Strike transformed and I'll probably go a little slow with this because like I said, I'm nervous transforming this guy. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and rotate the head down out of the way, which reveals his crotch piece. Then we're going to unpeg the claw section from his torso and then rotate this whole section around like so. You wanna make sure if you're looking at quick strike like this, the snake is his right arm. So get the snake out of the way here, get the legs out here, Back on the back of the figure, there is his head. Go ahead and fold the head down. And now you're just simply gonna fold all this together. And mine is just scary tight. So bear with me. For some reason, when I fold this section down, this brown part rotates up and kind of blocks the transformation. But let's see, there we go. Pop that in place. We'll go ahead and straighten the legs out. Get the claws open all the way because those are going to form his feet. And pop it off right there at the ball joint. I had a mild heart attack right there. So yeah, Beast Wars figures, lots of ball joints, always popping off. There we go. Get that snap back into place. Get him all straightened up. Super tight joints. Rotate the snake head around, bring the claw arm down, and there we have Quick Strike in robot mode. Get that foot out. The claws on this one collapse really easy. So there he is, one of the weirdest Transformers ever produced, and I absolutely love the guy. All the same great paint details are all over the figure. Love the chest on this guy. He looks so good. Very. Egyptian, if you ask me. I'm not a big fan of his head sculpt, though. I feel the rest of him looks so good, and the head is just a little plain. It's just all translucent plastic with that turquoise mask and a crest. And I just, I don't know, I feel like that could have been a lot more. But still, what a cool looking figure. All that articulation there for the snake arm. Of course, you can rotate that around in the show. That was his weapon. He'd use it to grab things by coiling the snake around or he'd shoot beams out of the mouth. Then you've got the claws right here that can open and close. The scorpion arms, now the legs, lots of rotations and knee bends. And just, he's got articulation just out the wazoo. This is an awesome figure. I am so happy to have this guy in my collection once again, and I, I just love it. He is so cool. Just a badass little Predacon. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Beast Wars Quick Strike with Beast Wars Megatron, Beast Wars Inferno, Beast Wars Scorponok, and Kingdom Black Arachnia. 1998's Transformers Beast Wars Fuser Quick Strike is an awesome Beast Wars toy. I love his beast mode. I am a huge fan of mythology and mythological creatures and his beast mode just hits all the right buttons for me. I love it. Great paint job, great sculpted details. The only drawback is why is he made of translucent plastic? It looks good, but he is so scary right now to mess with. Robot mode, robot mode is really weird, but that's part of his charm. 
So there you go, guys. 1998's Transformers Beast Wars Quick Strike. So, does a 1998 Beast Wars Quick Strike belong in your collection? Absolutely. I love this figure. And if you're a Beast Wars fan or a Beast Wars collector, you have to have a Quick Strike in your collection. After all, he was one of the main characters in the Beast Wars television show and a very popular one at that. Quick Strike has a very weird robot mode, but a spectacular beast mode. I love beast mode. That may be how I display him on the shelf. Now, as much as I complain about the translucent plastic, the more I have messed with this guy, it actually seems to be well-made translucent plastic. Though these hinges up here still give me a little bit of a worry because they are so tight. So I really don't know how much I'm going to be transforming this guy. So if you're a Beast Wars collector and you happen to see a Quick Strike, pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Just be careful with him. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I have to give a huge shout out to my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hello!